Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat Worlds, and today we're going to compare the brand new Spa 17 and CMR 76 Marksman rifles. Two rifles that I think are likely to become some of the most popular guns coming out with Armour 3 Apex in just over a week. The Spa 17 is apparently the standard marksman rifle of the British CTRG and the CMR 76 is used by CSAT forces in the Pacific. And that means that when Apex comes out, these guns are going to be going head to head on Tanoa. So the question is, which one is going to come out on top? Before we start though, I should point out that if you're watching this video after the release of Apex, then just bear in mind that some things could have changed. And that's because, well, the footage you can see in this video is actually from the Apex preview release, which isn't 100% complete yet. Things like the sounds and animations may change, and there's also quite a few bugs that still need to be worked out. But with that being said, I have tried to keep this video pretty general, so Hopefully even after release, all the info in this one should still be correct. Now to kick off, let's start with the SPA-17, which if you didn't already know, is actually based on the real world HK-417. But for those of you who haven't heard of this one, well, the 417 is actually the DMR variant of the HK-416, which is also being added with Apex as the SPA-16. The reason this is important is because the 416 and the 417 were both designed to be similar but more advanced versions of the US M4 carbine platform. So that basically means that they work in a very similar way, and that also means they have a lot of the same features, like select fire and a very fast reload. On the other hand, the CMR76 is based on the Chinese QBU-88, which is a much more purpose-built bullpup sniper rifle. And because of that, something to bear in mind is that although it does have similarities with other guns in the real world, in-game it's pretty much its own unique beast. For example, unlike the SPA, which uses standard 20-round 7.62 NATO mags, the CMR has its own special 20-round 6.5 mags, which are a lot less common. And not just that, it's also got a fixed bipod and it can't use side mounted attachments, which is a really big deal if you're planning to operate at night. Now, bearing that in mind, you'd think that the CMR would make up for the fact it's more unique with better stats, right? And sure, it is better in some ways, but as far as range, damage and accuracy goes, well, the SPAR-17 still has a clear advantage with the larger 7.62 round. This also means the SPAR has more recoil, but even so I still think it's better in CQB because not only does it reload faster, it can fire in fully auto. And not just that, it's even got better iron sights and unlike the CMR, they can be zeroed all the way down to 100 meters. So with that being said, it's hard to see any real reason to use the CMR until you realise that compared to the SPA, it and its mags weigh a whole lot less. And that means you're going to have a whole lot less issues with stamina and weapon sway, and most importantly, you're going to be able to carry more ammo. In fact, I actually found that you can carry almost twice as many CMR mags as SPA-17 mags, which basically means you only have to resupply about half as often. And that can be a really big deal if you're operating on your own and you want to stay in a good recon position for as long as you possibly can. Now, the question is, how important is weight versus damage and accuracy? And I guess that really depends on what sort of player you are. I mean, for example, some marksmen like to run without a backpack at all, and some, like me, just drop it on the ground to reduce weight when you want to take a shot. On the move though, the CMR clearly has the advantage because sometimes you'll get surprised by an enemy squad and you just won't have enough time to drop your bag. And that means the extra weight of the mags will effectively cancel out the extra accuracy, which could be the thing that ends up getting you killed. In an Overwatch position though, it is a completely different story and in that situation, the SPA-17 probably is a little bit better. And that's because although both guns are capable of one-shotting targets out to 1500 meters or more, the SPA-17 is just able to do that a lot more consistently. The penetration of the 7.62 is also a lot better than the 6.5 and because of this you'll find that it's a little bit easier to take out tires or shoot through walls. But with that being said, at the end of the day you've just got to ask yourself how often do you need to really do that anyway, so depending on you as a player, penetration might not even be that important. Now to finish up and bearing everything in mind, getting back to the original question, which one is the better marksman rifle? And well, the simple answer is 
There's no simple answer, and at the end of the day, it's really going to depend on your playstyle and whatever map you're playing on at the time. Clearly, the SPAR-17 is a better choice for long-range shooting and CQB, but the CMR is probably a bit better for long-range operations and for staying on the move. And so, which one is going to be the best for your mission is going to depend on a lot of different things. So, make sure you think very carefully before you choose one or the other. If I had to pick one as my favourite though, I'd probably say the SPA because even though it is a bit heavier, it's just a better all-round weapon. And for me personally, I think being able to use more attachments and being able to land more consistent shots kind of makes up for all of its other faults. Also, I've always been a huge fan of H&K weapons and so for that reason, I just think it looks a lot cooler than the CMR. But that's not to say at all that the CMR 76 is any worse and you might completely disagree with me. So if that is the case, make sure you let me know what you think in the comments section down below. But anyway guys, I guess that just about wraps up this quick comparison, so let me know what you think in the comments below, and as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos, or if you want to support my channel on Patreon, and until next time, see you later, and have a good one.